If you've updated your Canon R6 to firmware 1.4, you can now record identical video to two SD cards simultaneously. Or can you? You see, in my last video, I mentioned that I got this message when I used UHS-1 cards. I didn't know why, and nobody else seemed to have this problem. So I've done some testing, and this is what's going on. So you might want to be careful you don't get caught out too. Firstly, it's not a faulty card nor is it a particular combination of frame rate or resolution settings in the camera. The problem arises if you use either one UHS-1 and one UHS-2 cards, or two UHS-1 cards, and the capacity of each card is different. Let me explain. Let's say, for example, you have two UHS-1 cards installed. One of them has a 64 gigabyte capacity and the other 128. In those circumstances, you will get this message. However, if the cards are both UHS-2, the capacity difference doesn't seem to matter. The camera won't complain. But if you then swap out one of those UHS-2 cards for a UHS-1 card, the capacity of that card has to be the same as the one still in the camera. If it's not, you'll immediately get this message. And worse still, when you get that message, the camera won't record at all. It's not just that it won't facilitate dual card recording, it won't let you record anything. And it's that that makes me believe it's not intended functionality, i.e. it's a bug that Canon can fix in the next firmware. Now realistically, this isn't the end of the world because everything returns to normal as soon as you change the memory card mix to one the camera approves of. Now obviously I can't guarantee that it's not a specific issue to the cards I've been testing with. But I've been testing four different types of cards from three different manufacturers in various capacities. So it would be an amazingly unfortunate coincidence if that was the case. Maybe there's a, a logical explanation for it. I just can't think of one. So the short and simple version here is that to avoid the issue, just use cards with the same capacity. And if for some reason you can't do that, make sure both cards are UHS-2. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions or if you think I've missed anything, please do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.